Archimedes was born in 287 BC in the city of Syracuse. He was unlike other boys of his age who enjoyed running about. Archimedes enjoyed maths. One day, when Archimedes was an adult, King Iro II asked Archimedes to come to him. Archimedes, my servant, I am suspicious of my goldsmith who prepared my golden crown. I do not think that my crown is fully made of gold. Could you please figure out if there was silver or lead used as well? Yes, certainly, Your Majesty. Thank you, my lady. Archimedes knew that he could not melt the crown because that would make the king unhappy. This left Archimedes unsure of what to do. One night, while having a bath, Archimedes discovered an incredible fact. That is remarkable. When I sit down in the bath, the water level rises. And when I get out of the bath, the water level goes down again. That means that the amount that the water rises is my body mass. And that means that as well as being able to measure the weight of the crown, I can now measure the mass of the crown! Eureka! Eureka! Archimedes' Eureka! principle basically states that when a body is immersed in a liquid, it is buoyed up by a force equal to the weight of the displaced liquid. This applies to both floating and submerged bodies, and to all fluids. The extra water that flowed over is how much more mass the crown has than the bar of gold, even though they are the same weight. Your Highness, I have found out that your crown is not fully made of gold. What? Are you sure of this, Archimedes? Yes, Your Majesty, quite sure. God! Get my goldsmith. It's true that you used silver or lead instead of the gold I gave you. No, no. Pure gold. Pure gold is exactly the right way. Look at me and say that Archimedes has proof. Archimedes continued to create mathematical equations and other various inventions until in 212 BC, at the age of 75, he was killed when the Romans overtook Syracuse.